Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up the Selenium web driver for Google Chrome on Windows for Python. So let's get started. So I've already created my Microsoft Edge tutorial, and I will link that in the playlist iCard above. And by the time you're watching this, I may have also created the Mozilla Firefox tutorial for the Selenium web driver, and that will also be in the playlist. So Selenium is a tool for browser automation. It is commonly used in the field of testing, but we can use it for many other things like just going to different websites and doing some basic web scraping as well. Okay, so now let me show you how to install the Selenium web driver. So the first thing we will need to do is to go to this site right here. I will have this link below in the description. And you will need to go and find this current releases section and you will need to download the respective version for your browser. So the way you figure out what version of Chrome you're running is by going into this three dot menu. You need to go down into settings and click about Chrome and you can find your version number right here. So I'm currently running version 87 so I can download version 87. So let's just click this. So since I'm running Windows, I will need to click this Chrome driver underscore win32.zip file. We'll click it and it will download. And so now I've located the file in my file path. And what we'll need to do is to just unzip this. We need to right click, click extract all, and we'll need to click extract. And we find a folder that has the Chrome driver.exe file inside it. So we'll just take this and move it out of the folder and we can delete these folders. Okay, so right here, as you can see, we have the Chrome driver in our desired folder. So now what you'll need to do is to right click on this file, go down into properties and just copy this file path and we will need that for the next step. Okay, so now you'll need to open up your desired text editor I'm currently using Visual Studio Code, but you can use anything you want. You will now need to navigate into your uh, directory that you have the Chrome driver.exe in or anywhere that you want to situate your Python file. Make sure you have that directory copied. And now we will need to title our file and we can call it anything other than selenium.py. So I'm going to call it selenium underscore tutorial underscore chrome.py because if we title the file selenium.py it will mess up the import. Speaking of which you can't have any of the folders or files in your file path. None of them can have the name selenium or selenium.py because that will also mess up the import. So now what we'll need to do is we'll need to open up a terminal. I'm using the VS Code integrated terminal but you can use uh, PowerShell or a command prompt. Now what I'm going to type in is pip install selenium, hit enter, and for me it says requirement already satisfied, but for you it should download. Now we can close this. So now we will need to type in from selenium import web drive like that, and it will import the Selenium web driver. So this web driver contains all the modules that we need to control our browser, except the actual web driver itself, which we have downloaded right here. So now what we will need to do is type in driver equals webdriver.chrome, and this creates an instance of the Chrome web driver. And now inside these parentheses, what we will need to type in is an R and then quotation marks, and we will need to paste in that file path. So now what we'll need to do is at the end of that file path, we will need to put another backslash and type in Chrome driver.exe. So now that we've pasted in our path, what we will need to do is to add a backslash right next to every backslash. So that way we can escape the backslash and make sure that Python doesn't treat that as an escape character. Even though this is an R string, I prefer to use the double backslash. 
So now once we've created our instance of the Chrome web driver, we'll just need to do um, a basic get request for a website just to make sure that this is working. So what we'll need to do is to type in driver.get. And since Chrome automatically opens up to google.com, we can make it go to bing.com just to make sure that it's working. So type in https colon slash slash bing.com. And if we hit run, it opens up a Chrome window and it goes to bing.com. So if that worked for you, you've successfully completed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.